Good afternoon. And hola. <laughs> Today, we are testing our water because uh, it's... Someone <laughs> thinks that it's poisoning her. It, it really is. Okay, so not being dramatic at all it is literally some days worse than a public pool. The chlorine smell and the taste of it, too. And so a couple of weeks ago, I started developing this cough and like my throat just felt dry and I just felt like I wasn't getting enough water and like it just it, it was giving me a weird feeling and you know you just know your body and the only thing that had changed was the fact that our water was constantly smelling like chlorine for weeks and weeks and weeks and I think because I drink so much water it started to affect me and anyway so long story short got off of the chlorine water started drinking like the gallons of water and my cough went away and my throat started feeling better so today we are testing our water to see how it is. I will say some days it's been better where it doesn't smell like chlorine, you know, as badly of chlorine like it was. So it'll be interesting to see kind of how it is today. But it's true. It was making me sick. So hopefully we'll be able to prove that today. And if not, then I'm going to blame it on the fact that the water doesn't smell super chlorine-y today. So it's, <laughs> it's win-win either way. She's going to be right. <laughs> exactly. But I see how that worked that's out. That's exactly how it works. Mm, okay. But yeah, I'm pretty sure, I don't know. I'll be interested to see how it is because it doesn't smell as chlorine today as it did, you know, like a couple of weeks ago. So he does this, but he was there and he smelt it and he acts like I'm crazy, but he was a part of it. It's crazy. <laughs> but anyway. We're going to go ahead and jump in and show you the test that we got and all that nonsense. Good deal. Okay, that's good. Sorry, I interrupted you. No. We kind of started talking at the same time. Good deal. <laughs> that was bothering me. <laughs> Your finger was totally all in front of it. And everything. It was bothering me. All now. right, so here it is. We just showed it to you. We're opening it up. It's totally never been opened before. Yeah, it doesn't smell super corny today. It's got like a hint, but it's not as bad. You can get an instruction booklet with all the different tests. I think there's seven separate tests. And you hmm. get your little bag. So. And it does come only with one kit, which is a shame. I wish it came with more so that way we could like test it a couple of times or test it against like the other stuff that we have. Uh, but unfortunately, only one test. We've got a lead test that apparently takes 10 minutes to do. Oh my goodness. We've got the nitrate nitrite, four in one, alkalinity, copper. What's that? The business card. Oh, the business card. <laughs> a the business card. <laughs> iron, free chlorine, sulfate, and zinc. And the pillow pack. <laughs> These are good for eating. <laughs> Just kidding. All it's right. It's a pillow. It's a pack. It's a pillow pack. Yeah. <laughs> all right. So these are all dip and read tests. So basically it's like if you ever did this in high school where you know you dip the little thing in and based on what's in there it changes colors we're gonna have to refresh the water for each one because oh, okay. they say that the chemicals in it can contaminate the water or whatever oh. so we're gonna have to wash this out in between and then oh. anyway based on what the color lights up on the thing we compare it to the chart and that tells us you know basically how safe the water is in regards to that particular chemical so the first one on here is the four in one test. So we'll start with the four in one. In, oh, so four elements. It tests for four elements in the same thing. So okay, it tests okay. for the pH, the total alkalinity, the total chlorine, and the total hardness. Uh, okay. Is what this is going to be testing for in particular. So open it up, take the test strip, dip it into the water, and then swirl it around for five seconds. Wait ten seconds. Okay, so. Should I get like a plate for us to put these on? Yeah, or? why don't you okay. get a plate for us to put these on? Or something. That sounds good. We're dipping it into the water. We're swirling it around. I mean, I feel like you can't swirl it around too much, right? Right, so I'm just leaving it in there for a minute. All right, and we're waiting. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, 1,004, 1,005, 1,006, 1,007, 1,008, 1,009 and 1010. Why don't we get this so we can show them okay. how it's matching up. Ugh. One day we'll have two cameras and this will be super easy. 
All right, so this is what it is. So it looks like the pH is right about, it says it's pretty highly acidic is what it says. So what does that mean? Um, it's not in the acceptable range, which means it's uh, too acidic. There's too much like acid type stuff in it. Oh, nice. Um, this. It's almost yellow. Kind of looks like. I was thinking more like the 40. The 40. Yeah. So pretty alkalinic. That. Looks pretty close to zero. Zero chlorine. There's no way. And then that looks. So it looks like everything is on this side of the scale. Um, let's put it in there and swirl it again for a second. Okay. Here, I'll and I have this little ring light. One day we'll have two cameras and better lighting. And then we'll really get some stuff done. I apologize in advance if this, that just made it different. If this makes it harder for you guys in the camera to see. That like, the bottom one went white. Right, and white isn't heck? even on there. Uh, I'm losing my confidence. Right, this is. Especially because there's no way that there's zero chlorine. Well, there's a separate chlorine test that we're doing later that's going to be free, free chlorine. Free chlorine is a, another test later on. This is just total chlorine. I feel like that should, like, it should be the same, you know? That there's chlorine in general. Ugh, I don't know. I didn't do good at this stuff in high school. All right, we'll move on to the next yeah. one. That one <laughs> wasn't. Okay, so I'll go doing rinse so out the hot. water and then yeah. we'll be right back. Next, we're doing the copper. You gotta take it, swish it around for, what, 15 seconds, wait for 30 seconds, and then do some more nonsense. <laughs> so stinking hard to get my big fingers in there. Uh, yeah, I probably should have been the one doing it. All right. Okay, and we dip it in. Probably should have brought your phone in here and did like a little timer thing. Oh well. All right, that was 15 seconds. And you wait how long? 15. Yeah. Or 30, I mean. Okay. The fact that it's already a dark color, like before you even start the test, is weird. All right, it's pretty close to 30 seconds. So let's see what shit matches closest to. It's kind of like more orange right? than pink on any of them. So. Well, and especially because it already had like a pink hint to yeah, it. Yeah, it's definitely got more pink, but. Yeah. I don't know, I think it'd probably be closest to that one. Yeah. So anyway, copper is safe. Cause it's definitely not something like that. Right. So. Yeah, it more matches like these colors for iron than it does. Right. For the copper colors. But it was definitely copper, so. Huh, weird. All right, copper, safe. Moving on to the next if one. they say so. All right, next we're doing zinc. We're dipping it in for three seconds and swirling it. We're waiting 20 seconds and then we're matching it. I'm getting disappointed. We better start seeing some colors. <laughs> Well, I'm feeling gypped. Yeah, it's tough to tell if they're just the water's fine or whether like it's, the it's test not kid working. Or, yeah, yeah. I, mean, I, I guess it could be good that we're not seeing any colors. It's not as exciting, but no. But I know I'm not crazy, and that's like literally the only thing that I've changed. It's the fact that I changed the water source. All right, this one started off kind of pinkish, super purplish. pinkish, purplish. All right, so we're swirling it for three seconds. 1,001, 1,002, and 1,003. Yeah, and like, I don't know. I just have a hard time being convinced. But yeah, I definitely like to, you know, if we like had some iron or zinc to put it in there and then test it. That would have been interesting. It doesn't look like it's even changing colors yeah, or anything. I don't, I don't know that it changed colors at all. I mean, that looks close to 10. Right. Which is above the threshold. With that being said, it was kind of already it that color. It started that color. Yeah, like what the heck? Um, How are you supposed to know? Yeah. So. Does it say anything about if it should already be a color? It doesn't look like it. Mm -mm. What the heck? If they come back and tell me that there's no chlorine in this thing, then I'm definitely gonna think that they're scamming us. Because. <laughs> Then we'll there's get a at different least, test kit. <laughs> yeah, we'll they, you, there's at least some one. chlorine in there. Even if there's not as much as I think there is, there's definitely some. Yeah. All right, so that one was 
kind of a bust. Yeah. All right, what are we doing next? Next we're doing sulfate and then we get to the free chlorine. So, okay. coming up soon. Oh, thank goodness. All right, next we're doing sulfate. This one only has three different colors, apparently. Oh. Dark orange, regular orange, then light orange. Okay. We're strolling it for 10 seconds, waiting 20 seconds, and then matching. Hmm. So, we'll see. What's this one again, lead? That's lead. Okay. That's like a whole yeah. complicated process. Oh, yay. All right, and that uh, one starts off what the heck? Maybe we need to like, go to their website and maybe they'll tell us if that's a normal thing. All right, so it, it basically starts off saying that it's bad. Well, actually, no, that might be. I mean, it, it's like a or neon orange almost. Right. Uh, so I'm assuming it's like starts off somewhere in between yeah. there. All right, so we're swirling it for 10 seconds. OMG, Becky. We need to go to safehometestkits.com. All right. I feel like it might be getting darker. So I definitely feel like this one might be changing colors. Cause I think it was a much brighter, like it was almost like neon. And now it kind of seems like it's maybe going to the middle color. Hmm. I can't tell though. Well, it's been about 20 seconds. <laughs> um, I'm not sure I can tell that if there's been a difference. Well, now I mean, that you hold it up to it, it does look neon. So whenever it's against the white paper, it looks more neon again. Yeah. Uh, I'm not, this is not helpful. I'm not sure that changed color at all. Yeah. And I'm not sure that it matches to- What the heck? Any of those colors. So. What is happening? All right. Once again, not useful. I'm kind of bummed out by the Me quality too. of this. It got good reviews and everything too, so. Uh, how much was it? Like 30 bucks. Dang, and it's not good. Yeah. What the heck? All right, so. Oh, I need to go change the water. Yeah, we're gonna change the water and then we'll get back to the one that Erica really wants to see. The free chlorine. Yes. All right, doing the free chlorine. It comes back zero, I swear I'm gonna lose it. I'm gonna flip this whole table. Oh, that'd be impressive. If this <laughs> table's it is pretty heavy. heavy. Yeah. <laughs> all right, and all right, do you think it's a color whenever we pull it out? Do you think I, it's already um, a based color? Based on how the last three have been, I almost feel like it is. I feel like it's gonna be like a light bluish color. All right, let's see. Oh, okay, no color. No color. As you can see, no color on this one. Yeah. All right. Hmm. All right, let's... 20 seconds. Wait 20 seconds. And then match within 10 seconds. All right. Here we go. Let me know when the timer gets to 1 minute and 15 seconds. Okay. Sorry, I had to move it because we didn't see with your arm. That's a smart idea. And 15. All right, and let me know when it gets to uh, 35. Okay. Oh, well that was an unexpected turn of events. And 35. All right, and we're measuring and- <laughs> There's no purple. There's no purple on this scale. <laughs> So... What does this even mean? Like, I mean, it definitely gets darker as it goes throughout. So maybe it is? I'm guessing that might be a lot of chlorine. It's off the charts chlorine. Like, I mean, that's the only thing that I can think of is because yeah. it definitely doesn't... It's not, like, matching any of these blues. Mm -hmm. So maybe it's... Like, I'm there. guessing it has to be very chlorine-y. So if it makes you Thank feel better, <laughs> there is a lot of chlorine in this water apparently above the I'm not surprised safe threshold like it's honestly so bad sometimes and it literally made me sick so I you know I don't know what to do with these results because it <laughs> matches with what you are thinking what yeah. you're happy about yeah but at the same time none of these other tests really worked so and this isn't exactly on their scale right so i mean it's still up in the air as to what it is right so i mean this i mean it's kind of conclusive but at the same time i'm it's not, not i'm not taking yeah this result with any yeah definitely real, take this with a grain of salt yeah some hefty skepticism yeah for sure uh, I'm still convinced that I'm right, though. All right. I guess we'll do the lead one next. Okay. It almost makes me wonder, because some of these are, like, the wrong color. If maybe, like, right. they just got the 
the testers the, mixed the, the, up. Have gotten the testers mixed up. But then up. we haven't even had any. Because this like, is this looks more like almost a zinc color. Right. That looks like that. Right. Or in between those two. This almost. looks like a zinc color for sure. But then we don't have any of them that are blue. So. Right. They're but in, maybe they just. I don't know. Them that are blue. What the heck? Um, Literally, what is happening? Yeah, I'm not entirely sure. So. We'll reset the water and then we'll do the lead test. Sounds good. All right, this is the lead test. Um, it's gonna take 10 minutes for everything to start working once we actually do it. So we'll probably show ourselves doing it and then we'll catch back up to you after the 10 minutes have passed. Yeah. Um, all right, but so anyway, we open it up. Remove all the contents, okay? There's a <laughs> we can do that. strip. There is a pipette, Ooh. and there is a vial, and there is a pillow pack. <laughs> pillow pack. <laughs> All right. We set this thing down on a flat surface is what it says. Okay. All right. We got to take off the... No, okay. There's no... I was about to say, I didn't see a it. top. Wait. It seems... looks like there's supposed to be a top, though. For sure. Ah, uh, we've been jipped. All right. We're doing the pipette. We've got a All right, one full thing, and we got a. All right, and then we got to swirl it. That's it. Yeah, it's like apparently. such a small amount. You're swirling it. Uh... All right, place it back on the flat one, and then we have to pick up the test strip by the yellow end, okay. And we've got to then insert it into the vial with the yellow arrow pointing down. So, okay. I'm just gonna... And you just leave it? Yep, for 10 minutes apparently. Okay. So, we'll get back to you in... 10 minutes. 10 minutes. So, while we're waiting, um, there's this thing in the instructions called inconclusive results. And I'll just kind of read that off. It mm -hmm. says, at times due to limitations such as background interferences that are out of both your and our control, results may show bias or be inconclusive. Unfortunately, do it all yourself. Testing is limited by certain latent physical and or chemical properties potentially existing in your water supply that can either cause unclear test results or inval invalidate them. If a test strip turns a color that is not available on the color chart or does not develop a color at all, background interference from your water supply is the most probable reason as to why this happened. And then it proceeds on to say, they understand that not receiving a result can be unexpected and disappointing. However, you can send it in to their laboratory, take a sample and send it in. Um, and order one of their kits, and then they can test it for what you. The, that should be free, though, because it's not so, our fault that this stuff turned a different color. Yeah. Like, what the heck? They their, should... their view is that it's not their fault either, because <sighs> it is background interferences that may have caused That's it. That's a lousy excuse, and I'm not buying it. So, like, what background interference? Like, what the heck does that even mean? Right. So, none of these turned any colors that really <sighs> matched up with the stuff. So they're saying there's other chemicals and junk in our water what that heck? messed up their test results. So um, hmm. we don't get to figure it out. But you can buy one of the oh, test kits and send in so your dumb. sample to them so they can test it in their laboratory. I feel like they do this on purpose to make you feel, in my opinion, allegedly, to make you feel like this stuff doesn't work. And then that way you pay more to send it in. Uh, yeah, I'm kind of... I'm, that seems that seems very sketchy. Especially to me the as fact well. that they keep putting that's like the fifth time that we've seen that of like, oh, send it into our laboratory. Yeah. Like I'm very sketched out by this. So yeah. Anyway, that's what the heck? That's what they say on their instructions. I would have we uh, I wish that they would have came with two kids and we could have done this to the uh you know, like Brita water or if we had the uh, life straw water already to like see the, because clearly there, there should be no other contaminants in that if we did it to the or life straw. Buy some bottled water. Yeah, that too. What the heck? Ah, anyway, we got about five minutes left. So. Okay. I was just looking at the box and noticed that it says, where is it? Accurate results. 
but does not have an asterisk or anything that says that says that the results could be inaccurate. So this is false advertising. Don't fall for it. In her opinion. In my opinion. Don't sue us. Don't sue us. But at the same time, you're hashtag lawyered. All right, we're still waiting, but we wanted to read how to tell what the test results are. So it is safe and it meets the EPA standards if. So there's a number one and a number two on the little thing. All right, so if the blue line on the left next to the number one is darker than the blue line on the right next to number two, it's safe. Or if only the blue line on the left next to number one is present, <laughs> then it is safe. However, <laughs> it does not meet the EPA standards if the blue line on the right next to number two is darker than the blue line on the left next to number one, or if blue lines are equally dark. This literally makes my head hurt. I'll show you guys what, where this is coming from though. Oh my goodness, they make this so complicated. It's now been uh, 10 minutes and 20 seconds, so we can just keep this up. Okay. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And, all right, that's been 10 minutes. Okay. So we're pulling it out and, uh, um, uh, I think the one on the <laughs> left is darker than the one on the right. I would say that. Let's see if we so can. that's good? Yeah, that's good. Okay. Yeah, it's not one to focus. Okay, there we go. Uh, okay, sorry, it's going in and out of focus, but maybe just put let's, it down. Let's get the light. Yeah. Okay. So I think like your hand moving and my hand shaking and the fact that this doesn't have stabilization because it's an iPhone. It's like, no. Okay, that's better. All right, so you can see the number one there and you can see the number two there. And in my personal opinion, the number one is darker than the number two. Although... Through the camera, it doesn't look... It almost looks the same. Well, I mean, I guess it is a little bit lighter on the right. Yeah, exactly. Just a smidge. It's like a smidge. Barely. Bit. So, although it's probably pretty close. Yeah. I think that it is safe and it meets the EPA standards. With that being said, I have no faith in this test nope. kit. Therefore, it could very well kill us because of the lead. Yeah. But there you have it, guys. Um don't buy this test kit. Yeah, I was going to link this cat test kit down below, but I'm not going to because I don't want you guys to pay for this. Uh, I would not pay for this again, and I would not recommend that you pay for it. Don't waste your money. But yeah, I do not feel confident. I don't feel any better. I uh, feel like we have no more answers than we did at the beginning of this. Yeah. And I think we're just going to get the life straw picture because... I just would rather be safe than sorry. If that makes you feel better. It would make me feel better. Cause, so the thing with Life Straw, I was looking at today, and they actually have lab results, too, on their website. If you guys want to check out the Life Straw, the Life Straw picture, I'll link that down below for you guys. And if you check out their website, they do, like, actual testing on all of their stuff and give you the lab results and all of that. Unlike Britta, which doesn't do anything. So, um... Don't sue us. Britta. Well, I mean, that's just my opinion, so that it, it, it's a fact that Life Straw does more than Britta. But, uh, yeah, I if you're looking for a filter system, I would not recommend Britta. I would recommend getting, like, Life Straw or doing something else. Do your research before you buy. That's what I do recommend. But, yeah, would not recommend this test kit, though. Anyway, um, yeah, all inconclusive results, either yeah. colors that didn't exist or didn't turn a color. So... Or stayed the same color, yeah. which wasn't a color on the chart. Yeah. <laughs> so, I'm disappointed. I was really looking forward to, like, learning some stuff. Yeah. <sighs> Science failed me. Science failed you. The only thing that really changed the color was the the free chlorine one, which got way, way yeah, super dark. Yeah, Basically, not, on a, not a color. Yeah, it was supposed to be a variation of blue, and it turned black, so. Yeah, which could just mean that it's black for poison and deadliness. Yeah, there's rat poison in it's, our water. I would not be surprised. Just kidding. <laughs> but anyway, there you have it, guys. There's our there's our test results. Yeah. I know, super interesting. You came here to find out <laughs> if we're dying from some chlorine sort of contaminants <laughs> in our water, and ugh, you get to find out that we don't know, so. Yeah, but we made the mistake, so you don't have to. Yeah. So there you go. <laughs> All right. Toodaloo, guys. We'll see you guys next time.